American Airlines wants to sever union contracts, telling a judge it's the only way the company can survive. Today, the airline began hearings in bankruptcy court in New York City. Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg is live with how workers are taking the news here. Karen, the union briefed workers on that hearing today. They say they're concerned about their contracts, and it's still a waiting game. Outside this courthouse in New York City, dozens of union workers protested as American Airlines argued to void union contracts. This is long and drawn out, and it's you're watching it day by day, and it's the stress is very high. Here in Tulsa, union workers are watching the proceedings closely. Morale is difficult, but you know we're professionals, so we step up. Alan Weiss has worked at American Airlines for 22 years as a mechanic. He says he loves his job. That is the worst part of it, is figuring out what we're going to do forward, and how we're going to support our families and support our own retirement. About 2,100 American Airlines jobs are on the line in Tulsa. Overall, the airline wants to cut 13,000 union jobs. Our membership will get an opportunity to vote on an agreement, but the question is whether it will be a tentative agreement that we have reached with the company or whether it will be the company's last best offer. Union members stand behind their contracts. Chris Reinhardt, a machinist, has been with American Airlines for 23 years now. They're looking to basically remove 60 years of, of negotiated language. It's, uh, it's troublesome for us. I mean, it's not it's not anything easy to swallow. Reinhardt worries if his pension is frozen, he'll be working a lot longer. Especially if the pensions are turned over. I mean, it's a possibility that we may have to go longer before we can retire. Uh, I, how long, I'm not sure. Now, if the unions and the airline can't reach an agreement, the unions get to present their case. A judge is set to make a decision by June. Live in North Tulsa, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.